Watch this, Vicky. Bullseye! How about that, Vicky? Big deal. Oh, yeah? Let's see you do a wise guy. I only need one. <laughs> Any questions? Yeah. How would you like to be rewired as a blender? Hi! Hi! Well, forget it, poor Harriet. They're having trials for the cheerleading squad at school. Want to see the cheer made up? No. Okay. Lean to the left. Lean to the right. Stand up. Sit down. Fight, fight, fight. Yay! Team! <laughs> Harriet, why do you want to be a cheerleader? Because they have lots of fun. And they pal around together. And they even have slumber parties each of the cheerleaders' home. Slumber parties? You mean all those great-looking girls run around the house in their pajamas? Uh-huh. Vicki, you're gonna try out for a cheerleader. <laughs> you? It's Ida May, your favorite neighbor. <laughs> right, and Poison Ivy's my favorite plant. <laughs> hi, hi. It's so <gasps> wonderful to see me, I know. <laughs> Every morning when I get up and look in the mirror, I get little goosebumps. I can understand that. <laughs> As my dear friend Clint Eastwood always says to me, Ida May, you make my day. <laughs> Do you really know him? I'm the one who gave him the name Dirty Harry. Oh. <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, Ida May, I want to finish making these hors d'oeuvres. Oh, playing Betty Crocker. <laughs> Spilled a... Dependable little housewife. Uh, Ida May, I just think a wife should do nice things for her husband. <laughs> That's what Phil used to say. Uh, who's Phil? My second husband. Or was he my third? Oh, it's just a blur of honeymoons. <laughs> well, you never told me you were married before. What's to tell? Those men were all animals. They expected me to be a slave, just like you. <laughs> I'm not a slave. I'm just making some snacks. My father's coming to visit us. How sweet. In a diabetic sort of way. <laughs> Is your mother coming too? Uh, no, my uh, father's a widower. In fact, we haven't seen him over a year. Well, I can understand that. <laughs> Who'd want to spend a vacation watching you slice cheese? <laughs> Here we are, Dad. Welcome to my home sweet mortgage. <laughs> Say, there's my darling little granddaughter. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. <laughs> Come on over here, Vicky, and give your grandpa a great big hug. A great big hug. Stop, Vicky. Oh. That's big enough. Oh, oh. I keep forgetting she's really a robot. <laughs> oh, what strength. I can crack walnuts between my toes. <laughs> Tony, we're back. Grandpa! Davy boy! Hi. Oh, my goodness, look at you. You're growing like a weed. And so handsome. Yeah. <laughs> and Vicky, you're growing like... like uh, an erector set. Jody, oh, how's my beautiful daughter? <laughs> oh, and who's this? Oh, uh, <clears throat> this is our neighbor's sister, uh, Ida Mae Brendel, Ida Mae. This is Joan's father, Dr. Jim Anderson. Always a pleasure to meet a charming lady. Oh, yeah? Well, if you're trying to make a pass, Buster, you can just... Did he say doctor? <laughs> That's right. How nice. Doctors do very well, don't they? Well, uh, I get by. Uh, to Jamie, Vicky, uh, would you go in the kitchen and finish making those hors d'oeuvres, please? Sure, Mom. Come on, Erector Set. Okay, weed. <laughs> Ida May, listen, if you don't mind, uh, Dad's had a long flight, and I'm sure he'd like to relax. Oh, I don't mind at all. Come on, let's relax. Oh. <laughs> Dad, it's so good to have you here. Oh, you just look wonderful. Well, thank you. I feel wonderful. That's because I exercise, eat properly, and never go near a doctor. <laughs> well, I haven't been feeling so well myself. 
It's such a comfort knowing there's a doctor right next door who can check my heart. <laughs> Which right now is fluttering like a hummingbird's wings. <laughs> me back home, Dad. Yeah, how's the doctor business? You, uh, keeping them in stitches? <laughs> <laughs> well, to tell you the oh, truth, you I... Know, I heard the funniest story the other day from my dear friend, Jonas Salk. Jonas Salk? You mean Dr. Salk? You know him? Well, ever since he was a skinny little kid with acne, you know, I couldn't have been more surprised when he invented a cure for polio. <laughs> I thought it would be for pimples. <laughs> Uh, so, Dad, have you oh, seen... All the stories I could tell you about dear Jonas. Well, I'd like to hear them sometime. What about tonight, over dinner? Well, I'll I... I'll pick uh, you up at seven. Seven? Uh, well, uh, I, uh... Joni, you didn't tell me your daddy was such a fast worker. <laughs> Bye, Jimbo. <laughs> uh, listen, Dad, we're really sorry about... You know, you don't have to go out with her tonight. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to be rude. I mean, she is your friend and neighbor. Besides, it's only dinner. I mean, what harm can come from grabbing a quick bite? Remember Jaws? <laughs> Poor Dad. He must be having a miserable time with Ida May. Hi. Hi. Hi uh, you're home early. <laughs> Couldn't wait to get rid of Ida May, huh? Mm -hmm. We should have told you about her. Oh, yes, you should have. I mean, what an interesting woman. <laughs> <laughs> she knows everyone. Did you know that Ida May was the one who talked Sylvester Stallone into being an actor? Before he met her, he was going to be a speech therapist. <laughs> Dad, there's a lot you don't know about Ida May. Oh, I'm sure. Maybe I'll find out some of it tomorrow night. <laughs> tomorrow night? Huh? We're going dancing. She said she'd show me some of the steps she taught Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh, I'm bad. Real bad. Good night. There's Debbie Barnhill. Man, she is so, so... I can't find the word. Try developed. <laughs> I'd sure like to ask her out, but she only dates ninth grade hunks. And you're an eighth grade clunk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Catch this action. Hi, Debbie. Uh, like, uh, hi! Remember me? Jamie Lawson, I sit next to you in math. Like, wow! Like, far out! Like, who cares? <laughs> I understand completely. You don't want it to look too obvious that you like me. Oh, gang with a spoon. <laughs> well, I tried. Well, you bombed. <laughs> There's Mr. Bryant. Some yo-yo must be in trouble. Jamie, I want to talk to you. <laughs> Lots of luck, yo-yo. Jamie, I'm sure you're aware of the cheerleading tryouts we're having here on Friday. Yes, sir. Well, I've decided to use student judges from the three grades. And you've been chosen to represent the eighth grade. Yeah? Great! How come? Because I'm so popular? No, I pulled your name out of a hat. <laughs> Jamie, like, I heard. You're gonna be, like, the judge, huh? Well, it looks that way, Debbie. Like, awesome, you know. I'm trying out for cheerleader. Really? Yeah. Like, wanna share my lunch? Like, sure. <laughs> like, gag me with a spoon. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hi. Is my Jimbo here? No, Jimbo is playing golf though with Teddo. Uh, that's the third time this week, oh. <laughs> yeah, he won't have time for foolish games like that afterwards. Afterwards? After we're married. <laughs> uh, married? Uh, did my father ask you to marry him, Ida May? Well, no, but he will. <laughs> and please, Forget the Ida May. You can call me Mommy Dearest. <laughs> Tonight, Homer gets a new job as Mr. Burns' assistant. Ted! You see what you made me do, Joan? Well, how do you practice golf?
go for a time like this. Ida may think she's going to marry my father. Joan, what Ida May thinks isn't important. It's what your father thinks that counts. Oh, uh, honey, Ted, I forgot to mention I can't stay for dinner. I'm taking Ida May out. Dad, uh, you've seen Ida May every night since you've been here. Uh, do you really like her that much? Oh, she's a million laughs. You know, I've been a widower so long, I forgot how much fun it is to date. Yeah, well, well dating's one thing, but you're not thinking about maybe marrying again, are you? Well, if the right woman came along, uh, I might take another dip in the sea of matrimony. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Well, I better get dressed. Did you hear that? He said, who knows? Joni, who knows doesn't mean a thing. It's I do that does all the damage. <laughs> well, just stop jumping to conclusions, I'm okay? I'm not. Ida May has him completely hoodwinked. Oh, with us, she's Godzilla. With him, she's Gidget. <laughs> Where are you going, handsome? Debbie finally agreed to go out with me. Guess my macho image and great personality. And because she's trying out for a cheerleader and you're a judge. <laughs> Honey, it sounds like she's just using you to get your vote. And she's doing a bang-up job of it. <laughs> Till you stop that. <laughs> you know that Ida Mae doesn't love him. She's just after him because she knows that a doctor makes a good living. And she's doing a bang-up job of it. <laughs> Joni. Your father is capable of making his own decisions. And if you don't want him to resent you, don't say anything. Don't butt in. But tear. Butt out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't care what your father says. I'm not going to let that vampire sink her teeth into my father. Dad said to butt out. Well, what your father doesn't know won't hurt him. And with your help, Dickie, I just might be able to convince Ida Mae that my dad isn't the great catch that she thinks he is. Okay? Like, wow, like, far out, like, who cares? <laughs> uh, I'll get it, Dickie. <laughs> it's a vampire. And you know what to do. I know what to do. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Vicky. Hello, vampire. <laughs> oh, won't you please sit down, Ida Mae? My dad will be right out. Oh, thank you. Listen, I hope you don't go too crazy giving me expensive presents. Expensive presents? Next Mother's Day. <laughs> oh, I won't, Mommy dearest. <laughs> You know, it's going to seem strange having a daughter-in-law older than I. Oh, hi there, Ida May. Uh, Jim will be right out. So where are you two crazy kids going tonight, huh? Mud wrestling? <laughs> he told you. Uh, honey, uh, would you go tell Dad that she's here? Sure. Well, Ida Mae, my father and you have certainly hit it off. Oh, yes, that dear man. He's so sweet, so generous, so handsome. So broke. <laughs> broke? Vicky, you're not supposed to talk about that. <laughs> my Jimbo's broke. Oh, oh, oh that's a joke, right? <laughs> it's not a joke. Well, I'm afraid not. But I'm sure things will be better once that malpractice suit is settled. If it doesn't wipe him out. Malpractice suit? Oh, it's just a money-hungry patient. But Dad says they don't have a leg to stand on. That's why they're suing. <laughs> Isn't he insured? Oh, I'm afraid he couldn't afford it. I mean, after all, my dad is just a country doctor. <laughs> Some of his patients pay him in chickens. <laughs> Chickens. <laughs> Instead of big bucks, he gets big clucks. Oh, but I'm sure it makes no difference to you, Ida Mae, that my father's practically a pauper. Pauper? What on earth are you talking about, Joan? Dad, I, uh, well... Joan, what have you been telling Ida Mae? I mean, nothing. Uh, uh... She told her grandpa gets paid in chickens who are being sued for malpractice. <laughs> what? Jim, 
Uh, let me put this as delicately as I can. Financially, are you in the toilet? <laughs> well, let me answer you delicately. Financially, I'm flushed. Well, I didn't doubt it. Not for a moment. <laughs> Joan, what did I tell you about Buddy Miss? She's just trying to protect Dad. She didn't want him marrying the vampire. <laughs> now, Joni, Joni, whom I marry is my business. <laughs> you tell him, Snooky Wookums. <laughs> Even if it's the vampire. <laughs> That's a lovely compliment. <laughs> well, however, the fact is, I have no intention of marrying Ida May or anyone else. What? You mean you were just toying with my affections? And all the while you had no intention of taking advantage of me? <laughs> Ida May, I never promised you anything more than a good time. Oh, you tell her, Dad. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, you quack. Say, did, did I lead her on and not realize it? No, Dad. No, Dad. She's just looking for a man to support her in the style to which she's dying to become accustomed. <laughs> well, anyway, now I'll have more time with Jamie and Vicky. Right, honey? Right, Snooky Wookums. <laughs> well, now we're down to the final three contestants for the two open places on the Grant Junior High cheerleading squad. Next, we have Debbie Barnhill. Why give me a G? Why give me an R? Why give me an A? Why give me an N? Why give me a T? Why? What did I spell? Yeah. Thank you, Debbie. And our next contestant is Harriet Brindle. Harriet. Leap in the air and spin yourself around. Wave all your arms and roll on the ground. Kick up your feet and never say die, because we are the team from Grand Junior High. Yay, Grand! Thank you, Harriet. That was very, very good. And our final competitor is Vicki Lawson. Grant's the best from here to Maine. Opponents all go down the drain. We always win, come sun or rain. So climb aboard the victory train. <laughs> was something else. And now for the big moment. Which two of these ladies will be members of the junior high cheerleading squad? Judges, what have you decided? What's going on here? You're supposed to vote for two girls. And all three of you voted for Debbie Barnhill. Now, how come? Easy. She was the best. What do you mean the best? She can't cheer. She can't jump. What? She can't even land. <laughs> I want the truth. Why did you vote for her? Well, Debbie let me take her out for pizza. What? She let me take her out for pizza. Me too. That double crosser. I thought I was the only one she was using. <laughs> I think we'd like to vote again, Mr. Bryant. Mm-hmm. Good thinking. I am pleased to announce that the new members of the cheerleading squad are Harriet Brindle and Vicki Lawson. Thank you all for trying out. You were very good. Like, you barfed me out. <laughs> like, I ate all that pizza for nothing. Like, I got cramps. Like, I never want to see you again. <laughs> but, but, Debbie. Don't worry, Jamie. You always got me. Oh, like, Barf me out.
Tonight, America's favorite children's book series returns to... Jesus knows.